Hi, I'm Glenn Pearson, author of Thriving in the Healthcare Market, Strategies from an Industry Insider for Selling Your Product. And I'm very pleased to be hosting yet another uh, flash interview by ACO Exhibit Hall. The reason ACO Exhibit Hall does this is to introduce your listeners to progressive companies that are helping revolutionize healthcare. And today I'll be speaking with Rob Hutchison, who is the CEO of Proficient Health. Uh, it's a North Carolina-based company that provides secure healthcare communications and integrated workflow. So Rob, thank you for uh, joining us today. Welcome. Thank you, Glenn. I, I have a few questions for you. Uh, I understand that Proficient Health calls itself the communication behind the care. Uh, what exactly does that mean and what are some of the communication challenges that ACOs face that you guys can help them with? Uh, Glenn, I, I have a few points for you there, and that's a, that's a great question. Um, some of the communication challenges really stem from patient referrals, and those referrals um, can contain uh, the patient's information from their record in the physician practice, uh, and they can contain uh, financial information and information around reimbursement. So we developed our solutions alongside uh, some of the nation's leading ACOs. So we always like to give credit where credit's due. Um, we spent a couple of years um, as honing one of our core competencies, and that's referral management, uh, helping ACOs really um, drive a process and a standard into the referral management process. Because we heard time and time again that in our community, uh, we don't have a standard referral process, and that results in making referrals difficult. Um, so we've standardized that process now in many communities and help those uh, physician practices uh, send standard referrals from primary care to specialists uh, and, and really help them drive efficiency into that process. Um, these large, complex networks create all kinds of communication challenges uh, because typically we see uh, 20, 30, or 50 plus different EMRs or EHRs in those communities. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, really creating a very complex model uh, that results in lots of faxing and phone calling and people leaving messages, uh, patients and their caregivers being frustrated. Uh, by a process that is not efficient. Um, the, other, the other challenge that these ACOs have and that we found in many, many communities around the country is um, the referral coordinators are very uh, good at what they do. We've met with hundreds of referral coordinators um, and they, are, they work very hard, they're very diligent, persistent in getting those appointments for their patients. But frequently, because of all the changes in these communities, uh, they may or may not know who is in network. So mm -hmm. we have a very simple system to be able to expose who's in network and who's not in network, uh, making it really simple for them to make the referral and standardize that referral process in the community. So it sounds like um, uh, network leakage is a problem, and how specifically do you guys help with that? Uh, leakage really is a problem, and we've seen that result in, you know, upwards of $100 million in lost referrals in communities. Um, the way that we help is, one, by standardizing the referral process so that there's consistency. And I'll just use the example of a primary care practice referring to a cardiology practice. Um, if there are several dozen primary care practices, and they're all making those referrals different ways to the cardiology practice, uh, that becomes very confusing and very difficult to schedule those patients. So by standardizing the process and by exposing who, which cardiology practices are in network, we really uh, create that inherent value of exposing who is in network and who's not. Uh, and we've been very effective doing that. A lot of that's through just purely the adoption of the software. Uh, and when you build software that's easy to use and simple to train people to use, uh, people adopt it, they like it, and they continue to use it, and it becomes their standard workflow and their standard process. 
Also by integrating those um, patients' uh, records into the EHR easily, um, that, that simplifies and streamlines the, uh, the workflows for those practices. And we've perfected that over many years. So uh, again, that's another way to prevent leakage is just by uh, having strong adoption of a tool that standardizes the referral process. Yeah, it sounds like you've hit on some really good ways to address concerns that providers have. So that's that's very great. Um, if people want to get more information about your company, they can go to the ACO Exhibit Hall booth that you have uh, and find out more about uh, Proficient Health. And let me mention before we sign off that uh, my book is called uh, Thriving in the Healthcare Market, Strategies from an Industry Insider for Selling Your Product. And really, it's designed for anybody who interacts with the healthcare system, trying to understand better some of the challenges and problems that come from uh, interacting with people that are in a different world sometimes and the vendors are coming at it. So check that out as well. And thank you to the listeners for joining us today. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, Glenn.